It was March of 1939. The world was erupting into violence and the Nazis were invading Czechoslovakia. Families were shattered and life or death decisions had to be made in an instant. This is a story that might never be told if not for a stunning discovery. After her parents died in 2000, Joni Sherm found, hidden in some old Chinese boxes, 400 letters from 78 different writers to and from her father. When translated, the letters revealed an amazing story. I broke down and cried when I read that first letter. It was heartbreaking. The letters were a window into Sherm's past and an unprecedented documentation of events that changed human history. And then suddenly their letters stopped and I had to know more. And so I went and searched and I found descendants for them all over the world. Sherm's relentless worldwide search uncovered the true story of relatives murdered in death camps, of young friends and their dramatic escapes to four continents, stories about the will to live, the nobility of human dignity, and the pain and guilt of betrayed lovers and of friends and family left behind. Only rarely does a work of nonfiction have the gripping emotional core of a best-selling novel. Adventurers Against Their Will by Joni Sherm is that rare exception. Former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright calls Adventurers Against Their Will a brilliant and compelling account of men and women caught in the turbulence of war. Their world is about to explode. Their lives will be changed forever. They're about to become adventurers against their will. Sometimes fact is even more dramatic than fiction. <laughs>